Hi, welcome to Guided by Faith Designs presents Woodworking and Painting in Faith. In the below description, you will find the links to my Facebook page as well as my website and a link to help support my channel. You're also going to find a list of materials that were used in the upcoming video. If you have any questions or comments, please always leave them in the comments section. Stay tuned at the end of the video for the finished product. Enjoy the video and God bless. Hi, welcome back. So we are going to get started. Um, the colors today are the Deco Art Americana Lilac Meadow. These are going to be all Deco Art supplies and products. Our white is the Deco Art Americana Titanium White. It is what the canvas is prepped with and is also what is in the white paint. Our black is the Deco Art Americana Black Tie. Sorry if that's not focusing. There we go. The black tie. Our gold is Deco Art Dazzling Metallics Splendid Gold. Ooh, it does not like that, does it? Okay, there we go. That one. And then our red is actually one of my new favorite reds. Um, if you can see the red here, it held up its vibrancy and its color very, very well. And it's actually the fluid acrylics portion. So it's the Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics um, Cadmium Red Hue. So what we are going to attempt is the um, wings pour. I've been wanting to try this for a while and just haven't had a chance to. So we are going to give it a shot and um, hopefully it works. So we, um, from what I've, um, a couple of tips with this and we'll see if my tips are right if this works. The paint has to be a lot thicker than normal so our mixture is the Deco Art Pouring Medium, about 50%, um, pigment, about 45%, and only about 5% water. It is quite a bit thicker than we normally have it. Um, it is going to have the consistency. I, I normally say heavy cream, but this is going to be more like honey. So kind of between there because we don't want a whole bunch of mixture. Okay, now we're going to get started.
Okay, I think I am going to leave it right there. Unfortunately, I have some cells forming, which I did not want. Uh, next time, I will probably just leave the water out altogether because it was still a little more watery than I wanted it to. So I think next time I'm just going to do the pouring medium and um, pigment. But we will let this dry and we are gonna see what we come back with. See y'all soon. We are back. It is all dried. Um, all in all, it's not terrible for my first wing pour. Um, a few things I will change in the future. Instead of doing the white corners, I will do the black corners. Um, instead of being white, I think it'll help just make this stand out a little bit more as well as um, I won't make the paint as thick or as thin so I don't get these little pop-up cells that we have going on here. But all in all, um, not bad for my first shot. Let me move my light real quick, see if that helps. Um, not too bad, so just a few things I would change. Paint needs to be thicker um, so it doesn't thin out and get all these cells, and that's pretty much it. So we're not going to do anything else with this one. I've already done a couple of coats of spray lacquer on it. Um, we're going to leave it as it is. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section and I will do my best to get back to you. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Please hit the little notification button so you can be notified when I have new stuff that comes up. Uh, don't forget down in the description you're going to find all of the colors, the mixtures, as well as links to my Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter as well as a link if you'd like to financially help support my channel. Um, and that's it. I hope everybody enjoyed this. Um, we will give this another try. And as always, God bless.